All right, welcome back to Better Kansas City. While some celebrate Fat Tuesday, aka Mardi Gras, there are some who recognize today as Shrove Tuesday. It's also a pre Lenten tradition, but this one isn't all about beads and booze. It's about eating pancakes. Adam Schomburg, Community Director for Yelp KC, joins us now to share some hot spots around town where you can grab some great pancakes. First of all, are you a fan of pancakes? I'm a huge fan of pancakes. This was a fun, fun list for me to research. What about pancakes makes them so great in your mind? I think when you get one that's that's kind of light and fluffy, and also what I like about it is the volume. You can eat yeah. a ton of pancakes. Nobody's going to bat an eye. Exactly. So it's fine. You know, nuts. if they walk out with a stack of 12 pancakes, it's okay. You yeah. can go ahead and eat them all. It's just another so day. So where do you guys recommend to go uh, for pancakes here on, on Trove Tuesday? Yeah, you know, a spot that I think is, is a good recommendation because they're based kind of all around town is Ginger Sue's. Uh, they're okay. a, a really classic breakfast spot. I think they originated up in Liberty, but now you can find them pretty much in all corners of the city. And they have just some of the best, most classic pancakes out there. They're thick, they're fluffy. They've got blueberry, apple, cinnamon, just all the our greatest hits, basically. Okay, greatest hits of Ginger Sue's. Now, what about a personal favorite of yours, given you your 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 pancake aficionado, I, I, where do you go for pancakes? So on the weekends, we found a spot that we love and Yelpers love it too. It's called Westport Cafe and okay. Bakery. And so it's right in the heart of Westport. Um, it's always busy and I feel like yeah. they're just gonna keep growing and growing with brunch, but they have these lemon blueberry ricotta pancakes that okay. are so outrageously good. Wow. And you also get a free drink with your brunch if you go on the weekends. So you can get a mimosa <laughs> or a coffee or whatever. Suits ricotta your, suits on your pancakes. Yeah, it, it works. works. It's it's not sweet, it's not savory, it's kind of this neutral balance in there. And okay. then you've got the blueberry and lemon, so it all comes together. Well, ricotta on pancakes seems kind of out there to me, but apparently there's some other pancake places that are a more Further out there, choice? Oh, yeah, just wait until you see this one. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> Succotash is the okay. next one that I'm going to recommend. If you want something that, if you're a foodie and you want to branch out and try something really out there, go with Succotash. They have this thing that is called the Love Burrito, and it's made, it's basically what you'd picture with the breakfast burrito. So, oh your sausage, goodness. your bacon, cheese, eggs, and then it's wrapped in a big buttermilk pancake. Oh, so. yes, we've had these guys on the show here before. Yeah, and I think they made that. Yeah, it's it's outrageous, but it works again. It's one of those things that you might wince at when you first think about it, but just give that a shot yeah. or split it with your table. You know, everybody can try a little bit. And share a little goes. bit of it, sure. Yeah. No, that looks like uh, looks like a lot of fun. Okay, yeah. crepes, is that how you pronounce it? That's Is that French pancake or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, so it's a thin, you know, French and okay. also Scandinavian-style pancake. Uh, this is one I wanted to, to recommend because this is a newer spot. They started off as a food truck, and now they have a brick and mortar. And, oh, okay. Uh, it's called Seven Swans Crepery, and it is so good. It, the space is Ooh. beautiful, first of all, but then all their things are very, you know, good for food photos. Um, but they've got vegan, they've got savory, they've got sweet. It's a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah. Um, now I will say they're not open today. They're open more on the weekends, but okay. just something to look forward to if you're going. Yeah. On now weekend. we appreciate all those recommendations. Before we let you go, we got to let you know that obviously. The Chiefs won a big game earlier this month. Yeah, I don't know I if heard. you heard yeah, about it or yeah. not. We know you're a huge Chiefs fan. When they won, there was confetti flying everywhere, right? And yeah. some of those tweets, or some of those, the, the confetti contained tweets. One of our photographers gathered up a whole bunch of it and brought it back to us. And we actually have one of your tweets that made the big game confetti. That is so amazing. Ah, there that you is go. So cool. I can't believe there you guys is a found picture. This of the tweet right there. It's our year Chiefs friends, Adam Shambi, right there. You made, you didn't know it, but you were down there at the big game. That is so awesome, man. <laughs> I, I think of all the things, you know, for this whole city, it's been amazing. And, yeah. and we've uh, invested a lot emotionally. So this is so cool to, to now collect the, all the papers and the confetti and yeah. you know, build something out in my old man cave for this. Well, definitely. How, how I mean, everybody's tweets that I saw, you know, you had Patrick Mahomes, you had all the other players' tweets, but yeah. then to see somebody, I was like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, how did <laughs> I make know? it on there? Yeah. Awesome. So you made the cut somehow. That is so cool. So very cool. Well, again, thanks for all the recommendations. Congratulations yeah. on yeah. making the big game. Uh, do you feel like you're kind of a winner? Should you have been in the parade with the Chiefs? Yeah, that's right. Maybe next year they'll invite me out on all one right. of those, those big buses. Definitely. So. You can be yeah. a double-decker. There we are. Adam, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, full